good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it looks like a full house. Uh, my name is Hani, uh, and this is Soheb, my co-founder. Uh, we're both co-founders of Locofy.ai, a Singapore-based uh, startup. We're super excited, very nervous, and jet-lagged to be here, so be, please uh, bear with us. Uh, but we are here to talk about a topic that's very near and dear to our hearts, and have talked to some of you outside, and it seems like, obviously, you care about this as well. But we think that um, this is the age of the rise of uh, the design engineer. We think um, there has never been a better time for designers to uh, you know, really take more uh, in the realm of engineering and helping, helping their teams accelerate. Uh, the reason for that is the web and app development market has, obviously the demand has been growing through the roof and it's supposed to grow uh, even more, especially now with the age of AI. Um, I'm sure you guys have faced some of these problems. Majority of engineers around the world are actually uh, hired by non-tech companies, which obviously leaves pretty much everyone trying to be a tech company in a very tough spot. Startups are obviously hiring the best of the best engineers, and even if they're moving fast, they want to uh, hire more engineers. Um, and if you're a product manager, designer, or engineer, which I would assume is the case for most of you, you would have faced some of these problems. Um, your management, uh, client, if you're working in an agency, your product manager always want uh, the development to be done faster. Who doesn't want to innovate faster? Even the ones who are moving fast want to obviously do anything to move faster. Uh, engineers are expensive and the best of the best designers are obviously uh, very difficult to find. And uh, despite investing heavily into uh, product and design and engineering, most companies are not happy with the, the experience that they build or, or how fast they build it. And specifically looking at the, the realm in which we work, um, just going from designs to pixel perfect code is a very inefficient process. You design something with excitement and then you have to wait for months, uh, if not quarters, to get something back from the engineers and then, then there's a back and forth between designers and engineers to get it right. It's not fun for anyone. Um, and this is the area that Soheb and I, after working together for 10 years, um, we really felt passionate about solving this problem uh, once and for all. So about four years ago, we thought about uh, well, today, obviously, uh, this seems more normal, but uh, four years ago, we thought, what if we could go from, from designs to pixel-perfect code? Because when a designer is designing a canvas, an engineer should not have to replicate work just to get that design back, uh, you know, rendered on a browser or on an app. What if we could, you know, get 80% of that work automated in real time when the designer is designing and uh, free up the engineer to actually work on the more complex <coughs> business logic, the, the stuff behind the scenes? and then also give the designers the uh, control over the final end experience. A after all, designers are designing an experience and not just a canvas. Um, but there's a lot that goes from designing a canvas to that end user experience. So we wanted to get designers more control and more uh, you know, say in having that experience while freeing up the engineers, the prize resource as well. And that's what you know, uh, Locofy was uh, started uh, with the dream of. I think in today's world, we just wanted to get to a point where, where while you're designing, you get real-time code, uh, UI code obviously, not, not the, the full app itself, but um, we thought that's you know, very much possible and with that uh, possibility, it also opens up a, a huge opportunity for designers to step into the role of uh, the design engineer. Um, of course, AI plays a big role uh, in this switch. Uh, we saw this future like three, four years ago. Today, it seems a lot more normal. I met some design engineers outside today, which is obviously um, really exciting to see. Uh, what Locofy does it, is that it um, exists in design tools like Figma. Uh, we are a plugin within Figma, uh, but we also hook up to your design systems, your existing code components, and also public libraries like Material and Bootstrap. So essentially, the world that designers and front-end developers live in and convert that design into um, code for any uh, framework whether it's React, Vue, Angular, um, we have Flutter coming soon. We also have Swift and Kotlin uh, in the works. Uh, the way we do this is by basically building our own proprietary uh, design models. Uh, I know LLMs are obviously, um, you know, have changed the world and we are as big of a uh, fan as anyone in the crowd, but LLMs don't understand Figma designs and, you know, um, designs the way, uh, you know, they understand text and images and and other language-related stuff. So we started building our own uh, proprietary design models from scratch, uh, trained on, on designs to understand and break it into 
things like you know structuring the designs well, finding HTML elements, components, media queries, um, the list goes on. But you can use our design models to convert your designs into code. But then once we convert the designs into code, uh, LLMs actually play a very big role in understanding that UI code and taking it to the next level, whether you want to refine your code, uh, add functionality, add accessibility, localization, uh, even API integrations. Yeah, I mean, LLMs are amazing at doing so. So we have an MCP that allows you to pull the code from Locofy into any um, you know, AI code assistant of your, of your uh, uh, choice and, and take it to the next level. So we think that together with our uh, large design models that we've built in-house, working together with uh, uh, LLMs and large uh, you know, visual models as well, we really think software engineering and design engineering can uh, really go to the next level. Uh, in a nutshell, this is where uh, we think there's an opportunity for design engineers. Of course, Locofy is just one of the possible solutions today, but you can basically uh, open our plugin within Figma. We'll show you a demo later. You can hook up your design systems if it sits in uh, Storybook, CLI, or, or GitHub itself. Uh, choose a UI library, a public UI library of your choice, and get the code. Uh, choose the configurations as well, Tailwind, TypeScript, JavaScript, anything you like, um, and then get the code. And what you do with that code is really up to you. You can just copy paste the code, download the file, um, push it to GitHub with some CI CD uh, setup, pull it into VS Code, uh, or uh, we recently launched an MCP, like I mentioned earlier, uh, to actually just prompt your way from UI to a full stack app. Um, I'm going to hand over to Soheb for a quick uh, live demo, uh, and we'll come back to the last design models after that. Uh, thank you, honey. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Soheb. And uh, uh, today we'll be looking at a live demo. In this live demo, we are going to take some of uh, Figma designs and then convert it to code. And then using Locofy MCP, we're going to iterate the code. OK, so in here, I have a design of an app called localhost. So we have a home page, we have property details, and we have sign in and sign up pages. So uh, when the designs are done and ready for handover, what we can do is we can go to the actions and then search for Locofy plugin. And once we launch the plugin, this floating window here is a Locofy plugin. Uh, first thing we can do is uh, create a new project. And uh, we can choose web app. I will go with React for this demo. And we can choose our preferred settings. So all of these settings can be changed uh, later on as well. So I'll click Create Project. And so now, uh, if we have a UI library already built, we can easily import that in. Or uh, for this demo, I will just go with Material UI. Uh, click continue. So now we can select uh, a small component or a screen or multiple screens, and then we can click convert to code. Yeah. So uh, Locofy is automatically detecting all the prototype links set up within uh, within the design. But for this demo, let's just go with uh, in the interest of time. Let's just go with one uh, one screen only. So I will click no. So now behind the scenes, we are passing the designs through our large design models. We are doing multiple steps in one go. Uh, first, we run some pre-checks to make sure uh, we have everything. We have access to the external components. And uh, uh, then we apply different design optimizations. So for example, if you missed auto layout, we will apply auto layout au automatically. We also look at uh, redundant layers, and then we uh, automatically optimize the designs uh, to best fit for code generation. And then uh, next step, we identify different interactive elements. Uh, like in the design, we have a bunch of shapes like rectangles and vectors, but these needs to translate to actual components like input, uh, 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 daytime pickers, buttons, and other semantic tags as well. And lastly, we also identify like reusable components. So from one screen, we see if something is being reused, we automatically convert that to a component. And so now we have a preview and uh, ready within, uh, with l within less than a minute. And at the bottom, we have the code. So this preview is fully interactive, running on live React code. Uh, we can play around with the components. We can also try out the responsiveness. I cannot see my cursor for some reason. Let's just click here. Yeah, so the design is fully responsive. Uh, we make it responsive until a mo mobile device. And if you look at the code, uh, like these cars are being repeated multiple times. So we convert that to a component uh, listing item. 
and reuse it across the entire screen. Yeah. So like any other AI, local AI can also make some mistakes. So in order to correct those mistakes, within the plugin, we have uh, edit mode. So once we switch to edit mode, on the left-hand side, we can see all the uh, decisions made by the AI. So AI identified all of these assets. If we scroll down, we can see uh, daytime pickers, buttons, and all the other semantic tags. Uh, everything is listed here. If something is not correct, we can easily edit and update. Similarly, we can look at the uh, components. Uh, we can update easily uh, uh, detach the components. We can create new components. We can update the props as well, if required. So once we are happy with the design and the preview, the next step is to uh, sync this to Locofy Builder. So in the interest of time, I have pre-synced it. So I will just switch to Locofy Builder. Yeah, so Locofy Builder is a staging area where we can do a couple of more things. So for example, we can uh, view and share prototype. And uh, with uh, different stakeholders, we can get their feedback. We can also, uh, designers can also make sure the experience is exactly how they designed before handing over the code to the engineers. Other than that, uh, yeah, my cursor is disappearing, sorry about this. Other than that, we can uh, view the entire file structure, the project structure, we can reorganize our components, our screens, so all of that can be done within the builder. And in order to download the code, uh, we have various export options available. So uh, we can selectively sync some of the components to GitHub, or we can sync the entire project to GitHub. We can also create a pull request. And uh, uh, we have a Locofy MCP also available. Using Locofy MCP, we can easily get the code within our popular code editors like uh, Cursor, uh, VS Code, WinSurf. Uh, we will see that in a bit. And uh, we also have a VS Code extension available to easily get the code into VS Code. And uh, if you want, we can also download the project as a zip file. And if we are building a static website, we can easily deploy it to Netlify, Vercel, and GitHub pages. Yeah. So let's head back to the preview. Uh, let's take a look at one of the components in uh, property details. So in here, we have an image gallery. Uh, but when I click on the thumbnails, it does not actually update anything. So we will head over to Cursor, and we're going to get the latest code for this component, and then uh, ask Cursor to update the functionality. So I am in Cursor. We have the same code base, but we are missing the image gallery component. So I will just go to the Cursor chat. And I have a simple prompt here, uh, get latest image gallery component from Locofy, improve the component code, and add missing functionality. So the prompt is a little bit vague, but we let the LLM figure it out. So now, first thing it's doing is, is uh, using the Locofy MCP tool. Yeah, so it's using the tool, it will get the latest code for the component and also the CSS. So similarly, there are uh, the use case here is we can uh, get the component code, we can add accessibility, we can also add API integrations. There are so many things we can do here. So it's gotten the code for the component. Now I think next it should be getting the CSS. OK, looks like it's done. So I will just click Accept All. OK, let's run this locally and see how it looks like. Okay, I'm going to switch to uh, property details. And uh, yeah, now we have a working image gallery. Yeah. Yeah, so that's all for the demo. Uh, I will pass the time back to Honey to wrap up. Right, thank you. Glad you liked it. Uh, so I mentioned uh, we built our own large design models to solve this problem. Um, and of course, like I'm sure uh, most of you would ask, why not use LLMs? Uh, we asked ourselves that question as well when uh, the world went crazy about LLMs. Even though we had been building our own design models uh, behind the scenes, we thought, why not embrace it and, and, and make it work for ourselves? But we realized it very quickly that the best of the best uh, you know, uh, LLMs out there don't understand designs. They can understand images. They can understand a lot of things. But Figma designs are more complex than just uh, an image. 
um, or, or just understanding a website, for example. So when we pass the same design through Gemini, you know, ChatGPT, Claude, although they are getting better, some of them could not even understand the designs. Some of them did, but you want a pixel-perfect, deterministic replica of your design, uh, not just something that looks like your design. Uh, that's where we feel that we, we, we fill the void. Uh, while we can work together with LLMs, the code generation from design to code itself uh, is not something that LLM can do really well. And that's because large language models are trained on you know, text, books, tweets, and uh, pretty much everything you can think of. Code repository as well, of course. Um, but large design models are trained on a different language. Um, that's the language we all speak. We've actually been speaking the language of you know, shapes, vectors, and symbols for thousands of years as human beings. <coughs> Sorry for that. But today, the, I mean, these elements show up on our websites. When you see a wallet icon, you know it's about payments. When you see a home icon or a shopping cart, you know exactly what it is. So we just decided to build our own models to understand uh, designs the same way as a designer or a front-end engineer would or a full-stack engineer would uh, to get this to, to work out. Uh, we've, we've been training these models. We've just uh, recently submitted our research paper. We have a white paper on our website. We would love to talk to anyone who's as passionate about this as we are. Um, but just, yeah, like I think when we, come, when we talk about the, the role of a design engineer, um, I personally think that there's never been a better time. Uh, Locofy is just one of the possible ways for designers to be the bridge between design and engineering, but there's a bunch of tools today. I think Figma Sites, Figma Make were amazing, uh, I think, uh, launches in the same direction. So if you feel passionate about this topic, we have a booth uh, right outside. Uh, we have our whole team over there. We would love to talk to you. And if you want to see a live demo, uh, we'll be uh, excited to show you. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, have a good config. Mm -hmm.